guys, it's Vaughn. Welcome back to another favorites video. I'm so glad you're here. These are my absolute favorite videos to film and edit. If you like these kind of videos, definitely subscribe because we do post them every single month. We cover all different topics such as beauty, hair care, fashion items, even food and beverages. So today we're gonna get into some affordable fashion items. Yes, honey, I'm going to be sharing some affordable designer pieces that I picked up. We're also going to get into a food item that I am currently obsessed with at the moment. And my wine of the month is back, so I definitely want to share a wine that I recommend. You guys see I got some new hair. Okay, I did these braids on myself. These are knotless box braids using the feed-in method. You guys know that's my jam. I'll put all the details of the hair, including the color and the length and all that stuff in the description box. On my lips, I'm actually wearing a combination of lip colors. I started off with a MAC liner called Night Moth, and then I filled it in with Mente Cosmetics Nude La La. And then right in the center, I used Max Snob. That's how I got this kind of finished look. I really love the nude look with a little bit of color integrated. My blazer, um, I think I got this from Akira ages ago. My tank is actually a bodysuit that I got from Forever 21. And my shorts are by Fashion Nova. My belt is obviously by Gucci. Gucci is the medium size double G version. And my sneakers are by Balenciaga. They are the triple S sneakers. I honestly just really love a nice shorts and blazer combination. It's so good and so cute for the summer, especially if you're wearing really short shorts, you can kind of use your blazer to provide like a little bit of modesty, especially if it's an extra long blazer. And adding in a nice crisp sneaker just really finishes off the look and makes it look sporty. And my nails, you guys, I have a no chip, so I'm not really sure of the color but yeah I really love this kind of royal blue very very cute my nails were getting so freaking long you guys I had to cut them down okay and start over so let's get into some favorites so the first thing that I want to talk about is some affordable designer items because I feel like in my last couple of favorites videos I was showing you guys some purchases and all it took was for one commenter to be like I cannot relate to this okay I heard you loud and clear sis so I definitely wanted y'all to know I don't shop like that all the time okay those were some very unique purchases that I made just to kind of treat myself. But normally if I'm buying, you know, fashion items, they're very affordable. And I want to show you guys two items that I bought recently. This first one is a very, very special purchase because it's by a black owned designer. So, so proud of him. His name is Brandon Blackwood. And I've kind of had my eye on this fanny pack for a very long time. Listen, Brandon is doing so well right now. If you guys have not heard of um, his line of designer handbags, definitely check it out. I'll stick some links in the description box for you guys. I really wanted one of the top handle bags and they were all sold out they continue to be sold out because they're extremely popular so I had to end up settling for my second favorite option which was the fanny pack because I definitely have been wanting one of these so I went ahead and got this black one with this nice texture on it I talked about this in one of my vlogs not too long ago really really love it you guys because of the quality of it it's a really good like leather bag like it's just really good quality very sturdy I love the way it looks it's so sporty and fashionable you can wear it around your your waist or you can wear it around your torso like I've kind of been doing kind of wearing it across my shoulder it's been really really clutch you guys to have like a hands-free kind of bag especially as a mother so this kind of bag is a nice to have because it's fashionable but the functionality of it is unmatched I love that it has the pouch that it comes with but it also has like this little pouch attachment that you can put little things in or you can take it off um, like how I wear it most often and just kind of wear it without it. So I love that I have this option. Now, one of my subscribers had asked me to show you guys what was in the pouch because she kind of wanted to get an idea of what all it can hold. So I'm gonna get into that in a, just a moment. This is what the pouch looks like, all right? The inside smells so nice. I love the smell of like brand new bags. For some reason, I'm obsessed. Really, really cute. You guys, the texture is really nice. All right, so for the inside of the pouch, right? For this front compartment, I usually just put a bunch of change in there. So it's a bunch of coins in that front part. It's very small, but you can definitely fit like your credit cards and that kind of thing in there. Now, the main body of the bag, right, this part. All I have in here, you guys, is my keys, all right? My credit cards, a couple dollar bills, some chapstick, and um, some lipstick down in here. Which lipstick is this? Oh. Sin, one of my most used MAC lipsticks. Let me put that over there. So you guys, that is all that can go in here for the most part. My phone can't even fit in here. I have an iPhone 11 Pro, whatever, Pro Max, whatever. And so it's fairly large. It's not in here, or otherwise I would show you guys. It's on the charger. But it doesn't fit, you guys. Um, and really the issue is this bottom part. The top part is big enough, but it doesn't go all the way down into the bag because the bottom part is a little bit more narrow. So very minimal amount of items that can fit in here. But you know what? For the look and the price, I think it was definitely worth it. This bag was only like $120. 
plus tax and all that. And it shipped very quickly, you guys. I got lucky. Um, it shipped in like three days, so I got my bag very quickly, which I love a good couple days shipping. Like, I'm a sucker for that. Like, I get so weak when something comes to me really fast. I get really excited. So the packaging, let me just quickly show you the packaging since this is my first time talking about this bag on my channel. So it came in this really nice, like, high-end looking box. Once you open the box, um, your item is going to be inside of this nice dust bag. And the inside of the box is black, and it's got like the brand and Blackwood logo repeated all throughout. So the packaging is very pretty. I highly recommend you guys check out Brandon Blackwood's selections and offerings because there's so much to choose from. And honey, listen, the only issue that you will have is which one do I get? And hopefully it's not sold out. He just recently celebrated 400,000 followers on Instagram. And listen, I don't know Brandon Blackwood, okay? But I always can appreciate when an influencer or a celebrity or whoever celebrates their follower milestones because for me, it makes me feel like you really truly appreciate having followers. And when people don't acknowledge different milestones, it makes me feel like you feel entitled to these followers. So it means something to me when you can be like, hey, I appreciate my 1.3 million followers. You know, I don't care what the number is. You should always acknowledge it because no one has to follow you. So this next item is a very familiar item um, to probably most of you and it's by Coach. You guys, I am extremely excited about this purchase because I have been having my eye on Coach for a while now. You know, they're kind of making a comeback because at one point, Coach was like really silent. Like they were just getting drowned out by like all the other higher end um, designer brands. I've been looking, you know, from afar, just waiting for my chance to find the bag that was perfect for me. And I think this one is it. It's got that nice tote um, style to it. This, you know, the kind of top handle and the bag opens up. You can just dump a bunch of stuff in there. And I love bags like that. It really reminds me of my Louis Vuitton on the go tote. Very, very similar in terms of the style and in terms of the size too. Um, it's very similar to the MM uh, size of the on the go, except it's a little bit smaller. I know that's a very popular bag. A lot of you guys have it. So that's why I'm making the comparison. <laughs> what I love most about this bag, you guys, is the color, right? They're calling it watermelon, but it it's just a coral, right? It's like a pink corally bag. One one of the most beautiful colors you could have for the summer, no doubt about it. The inside of the bag has a lot of space. It has three separate compartments. There's this front, there's a zippered middle, and then there's the back. Tons of space, you guys. And it also comes with a shoulder strap with beautiful signature Coach, you know, hardware on it. I really love Coach's hardware. Out of all the designer bags that I've ever purchased, Coach is one of my favorites with the hardware because it's just something about it. It's very durable. They do a really good job of um, crafting their bags, but also I just, I love how like chunky it is. They don't spare any material when they're making their hardware for their bags. So that's just something I like about Coach. And it comes with this nice little C charm, the signature Coach C, which is really, really cute and fun. But my favorite part of the bag, you guys, is this tag, right? So there's the signature Coach tag, but on the other side, which is blank, you get to engrave it with the initials and or emoji of your choice. So the store that I purchased from, they had the embossing capability right on site, so I told them to put my initials, and then I asked for um, the skull head emoji, you guys. So it says TAC with the skull head emoji right next to it, and I felt like this was so perfect for me because you guys know I love skulls, and I did it in gold to match the rest of the hardware on the bag, so I'm just really happy about this purchase. The quality and everything is just so amazing, and that's just really what I love about Coach because you're getting designer quality, no doubt about that, but it's affordable. And speaking of Coach, you guys, I also got a pair of sunglasses, and I didn't buy these from the Coach store. I actually bought these off of Zulily, which is a really cool marketplace that you guys should check out if you have not already. So let me show you guys the sunglasses that I got. I love, love, love them. Okay, look how cute. Look how cute, the perfect shape for my face. Like, ah! I love these. Now I'll admit, when I saw them on the website, I thought they would be a little bit bigger, but once I got them, I was like, this actually works for me. I love the brown tint. I love the um, the frame of it all. It kinda has like that aviator style. I wear these all the time. They go with so many different things. Very nice quality, and I think these were only like 70 something dollars. So yeah, but these are blue light. Um, glasses, you guys, to protect from the blue light from your devices like your phone or your computer or laptop. I really like the way these look because the frame is clear and they just make you look so sophisticated and it kind of gives you like that sexy nerdy vibe. Like if you really do a full glam makeup and you put these on, totally gives off like that anime, you know, sexy um, nerd girl look. So I am obsessed with these, you guys. I wear these so much. They fit so comfortably because they're extremely lightweight. So, oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, you know, 
have been kind of maintaining my braids, I just wanted to mention this one product because I think it's really important, right? So this is a protective style. So it's a hairstyle that I'm likely going to wear over a period of time, at least two weeks. And so, you know, when you go outside in the heat, you know, sometimes you come back inside and your hair is smelling like outside. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about, especially if you have like really long or thick braids or twists or locks or whatever. So I like to use this dry shampoo, you guys. This is the one from Pantene Pro V. It's called Never Tell Dry Shampoo. It leaves no residue. How this works is it absorbs a lot of the oil in your hair and all you have to do is shake your hair after you apply it and a lot of that will just release and go into the atmosphere. So it leaves your hair, okay? Gets rid of the odor, right, from being outside in the heat. It just really refreshes your hair and elongates the life of the style. And like I say, you know, you don't have to worry about a residue or anything. Just, you know, don't spray it too close, but definitely hit those braids, hit that scalp, shake it out. Oh, and it smells so nice, you guys. Like, it's just totally worth it. I mean, honestly, I would rather use a dry shampoo than to actually shampoo my hair because I feel like sometimes it makes matters worse. Like, yes, your hair will be clean, but now you got all these frizzies and all these hairs out of place that you have to then deal with. I would much rather use a dry shampoo. Okay, moving on. So I had to mention this, all right, you guys, because of the customer service of it all. That's really why I wanted to mention this. So I recently revamped my master bathroom and I did a video on it. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it so you can watch it, girl. I recently had revamped just to improve on it, make it a little bit better. And in that pursuit, right, I had decided I wanted to purchase some new robes for myself and my husband. So I went on the RH website, right, Restoration Hardware, and I ordered a couple of their luxury, you know, plush robes for myself and my husband. Husband. And I wanted to talk about these you guys because it is extremely good quality and it doesn't cost as much as you would think, all right? I think these robes were like $125 or something like that per robe, which I think is reasonable for a luxury plush robe. I mean, this is like the quality you would get if you were to like book a room at the Ritz or something like that. And I got the idea from when I went on vacation, me and Anthony, we went to Jamaica, we were in a luxury villa with our friends and they had RH robes available in the bathrooms. And I was so blown away. I'm like, RH robes, this is nice as hell. And then I went online to look and see how much they were and I was, surprised that they were not like $500, okay? They were only $125. They have different robe options on there, so this is not the only one, but this was the one that I thought would be best for us. I like that nice white color. So soft, you guys. Whenever I put this robe on, I just wanna go to sleep. It just wraps around me and just makes me feel like I'm laying on a cloud, like super luxurious. You definitely deserve to have a nice quality bathrobe. So I threw away like my you know, $12 like, you know, Amazon robe that I ordered and replaced it with this one. And I feel like I am deserving of this and I think you are too, so I wanted to tell you guys about it. Also, you have the option to monogram your robe, okay? Get your initials put on the robe. It's only like a $9 upcharge to do that, so it's definitely worth it. And when I ordered this robe, okay, and I got them both customized, you guys, these robes were delivered to my house 36 hours later, and I just could not believe that quick turnaround. I told you guys I am a sucker for quick shipping when I'm spending my money, okay? I really love that. So they turned these robes around extremely quickly. They were flawlessly engraved, like there were no mistakes whatsoever, and it was just perfect. And for size references, I want you guys to know that I ordered the small and it fits great. I probably could have ordered the extra small. So if you're usually a medium, just get medium. Do not go a size up thinking that you need the robe to be a little bit bigger because it will be too big. All right, now let's get into some things you can eat. I wanted to share this cereal with you guys because Listen, okay, it was so delicious, all right? This is the Kashi Honey Toasted Organic Oat Cereal. It's hearts and O's made with whole oats and wildflower honey. It contains five grams of fiber, four grams of protein, and 23 grams of whole grains. It's USDA organic, non-GMO, et cetera, et cetera. I picked this up for all those reasons I just read to you. You guys listen, when I tell you this cereal tastes like actual honey, you know how things be like, oh, this is a honey flavor and it just tastes sweet. You don't really actually get the taste of honey. Y'all, this actually tastes like honey. I was blown away. I was extremely surprised by that. And it's just so good, right? When I showed my sister this cereal, cause when I get something that I like, I always share with my family. I'd be like, oh my God, you gotta try this. And I showed them a picture of this cereal. My sister was like, that looks like dog food. <laughs> She ain't lying, let me show y'all. It does look like dog food. So it looks nothing like the picture on the packaging. So yeah, it really does look like dog food. Oops, I dropped one, it's okay, I'll get it, but yeah. So good, y'all, okay? And I don't even be liking cereal like that, but lately I've been needing some breakfast options that are quick because I'd be too busy to cook every single morning. So this is perfect for me, so I feel like I'm not compromising um, my health and my fitness program 
by eating this, but I still get the taste and the flavors that I like to have. And this is the perfect amount of sweetness. It is not too sweet, you guys, because trust me, I would not be eating it. And I just really love what this brand is doing in terms of their sustainable practices with you know, manufacturing this cereal. Everything from their packaging to their ingredients that they source. So shout out to Kashi. And then last but not least, you guys, I'm going to share my wine of the month. <laughs> So for today's wine share, I'm going to be sharing a black woman owned wine company. I talked about the McBride sisters before and I think I showed you their black girl magic offering. And I think that was a red blend and this one is too. And it's so good you guys. I was really excited to see that they had this in my local Benny's. All right, it was a small little bin but they still had it. So I made sure to grab one so that I can support. I really love the McBride sisters from their stance on wine to their story and coming about and getting to know that they were sisters. It's a whole story that you guys have to go and check out when you get a chance. But I really love their wines because they're such great quality. I love the packaging. It looks really nice sitting up on my wine rack. You know, I feel like they put a lot of thought into the wines and how they were going to present them. And it's just very high quality. And I really love that they are representing our community in this way, especially in spaces that are white male dominated, right? When we talk about winemaking, there are not a lot of women making wine and there are definitely not a lot of black women making wine. Us sisters, you know, we are into wines, right? We're drinking wines we're going to wine tastings and wineries and things like that so I love to see this representation so one of the main reasons that I wanted to support the McBride sisters is for that but also the obvious is that it's really good wine you guys it's very tasty very well developed and you can tell the makers of this wine know what they're doing and I love that their blends are really bold blends right they're not too dry there is a subtle amount of sweetness and for this particular one it has flavors of red cherry and blackberry with aromatic notes of cocoa and caramel that's all I ever want in a wine you know what I mean like that's perfect for me so all of those flavors working together that subtle sweetness that those nice bold punches of the cherry is what I love in a red wine so I highly recommend you guys give them a try and definitely support check your local Benny's if you have not already I do know that they offer online shipping so definitely check out the McBride sisters website and follow them on Instagram if you haven't already all right you guys that is it for today's favorites I hope that you did enjoy I have a great time filming these videos I have so much fun doing this and I love sharing the things that I love and putting you guys on to some brands that you may not have heard of but I also want you guys to return the favor okay comment down below different items that you think I need to be put on okay I will absolutely try those items out and maybe I will mention it in my next favorites who knows so let me know and if you're not into these favorites videos no worries girl I do vlogs I do hair tutorials all types of stuff so check out my channel um, I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy I appreciate you guys being here love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video Mwah. bye